Most tasks on a computer can be completed a few different ways. For example, many of our online programs are using Google Drive to collaborate with students and staff. So we find ourselves creating new Google Docs and Slides files regularly. To create a new Google Drive file, we can go to drive.google.com, then select New, and then the file type. Our digital literacy tip for today is a shortcut to create these drive files a bit faster. Just open a new tab and start typing docs.new to create a new Google Doc, and similarly, slides.new for a new Google Slides file. The same is true for sheets.new for a spreadsheet, Lastly, forms.new to create a new Google form. Note that just like any other drive file, these will automatically save to the cloud and be stored in the Google account that you are logged in with. So open a new tab now and try this shortcut for quickly creating Google Drive files. As we continue growing as adult educators, our professional learning review this week is looking at the many great resources from the EdTech Center at World Education on its COVID-19 response website. This page is filled with a variety of resources that programs can use to think through how to support students and staff as we all get started online. The first resource to review is the Ready, Set, Go! Steps to Rapidly Start Distance Learning, which includes some high-level topics to think through as we consider how to support our students and staff. The second great resource is their free weekly webinar series that are held every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern and 10 a.m. Pacific that bring together educators from around the country to explore different topics related to distance education. Note that there are several sessions coming up this month, and if you sign up but can't make the call, the EdTech Center will follow up with an email that includes a link to the recording, the slide deck, and the breakout sessions, as these calls start with a one-hour large group presentation and then finish with smaller breakout room discussions on the weekly theme. Continuing on the website, EdTech Center has written these great two-page briefs on a variety of topics that can help us really with this transition from we're in a, an emergency mindset and we're just rapidly getting launched and now we want to think through how to support our students more sustainably over the next couple of months. So check out these two-page briefs that are written at the bottom of the page and if you want to take a deeper dive into the world of distance and blended learning, I suggest the Distance and Blended Learning Handbook. This manual has been updated six times in the past few years and includes a deeper dive into things like recruitment, screening, orientation, instruction, and assessment in an online setting. So check out the EdTech Center at World Ed and we'll hope to see you on these weekly calls every Friday. Great job, EdTech Center. The move to online learning in adult education can be challenging when it comes to curriculum. Writing and designing lessons online takes a good amount of time. So in this episode's Apps for Learning and Teaching, we'll look at four free curriculum options that can be used now for programs that may not be ready to find content and write their own lessons. The first is Google's Applied Digital Skills Curriculum, which provides free video-based lessons that help students build new digital literacy skills. What's nice about this site is the adult learner feature, so we can specifically look for content that is designed for adult education students. The second is Newzella, which takes real world news stories and adapts them to various reading levels, so adults can engage in discussions with peers that may be at different levels. And as you can see here, there is dedicated distance learning resources. The third is Read Theory, which offers self-paced reading routines to help students build literacy skills. And the last is Desmos, which offers free math lessons in a more visual and creative environment. So as we continue building distance learning, consider your role to be supporting learning instead of providing learning. The internet is filled with really engaging content. So maybe our role as adult educators can be to help students set and monitor goals, build time management skills, develop a growth mindset, and learn how to learn in the 21st century. Our story from the field this week comes from the great ocean state of Rhode Island. Much like other states, the team has organized a tech hub as a one-stop resource for all things distance learning. 
For now, I specifically want to review the What Others Are Implementing doc. This is a thinking space where educators can explore different strategies for engaging students online. Since we are relatively new to distance education, I like this document because it provides quick and accessible tips for teachers to browse. Whether the goal is to engage with learners or provide accommodations or teach math or ESL at a distance, teachers can browse this document to brainstorm together and share ideas. What a great way to crowdsource ideas and learn from our peers as we all try to find best practices. Great idea, Rhode Island. That's it for this episode. See you online soon.